Hello students, welcome to the channel. After a huge demand on the topic of Lissarge's figure, I'm making this video for you. First of all, we have to understand what are Lissarge's figures. Lissarge's figures hote kya hai? When a particle is acted upon by two simultaneous simple harmonic motions, then that particle is going to trace a path. That path which is traced by that particle which is acted upon by two simple harmonic motions and the necessary condition is those simple harmonic motions should be perpendicular to the each other then that particle is going to execute or you can say trace a path that path which is traced by that particle are called Lissarge's figures and those Lissarge's figures as is its name suggests can be of any shape it can be ellipse it can be circle, it can be straight line, depends on various factors. So, what are the various factors on which uh, this Lissarge's figure depend? Those, uh, uh, those factors are amplitude of two waves, uh, which waves are uh, superimposing upon each other. What are amplitude of those waves? This is the first factor which, is, which can be deciding factor for the shape of Lissarge's figure. The second which is the deciding factor is that is frequency very important what are the frequency of two superimposing waves which is going to decide the shape of Lissarge's figure and third important very important uh, uh, factor which is which decide the shape of Lissarge's figure that is phase difference what is the phase difference between uh, two waves which are superimposing upon each other that can be zero degree that can be uh, pi by three pi by six pi by four 90 degree 180 degree 2 pi etc so first of all we have understood very well what are Lissarge's figures so i am repeating again what are Lissarge's figures Lissarge's figures are simply a path which is traced by a particle which is acted upon by two simple harmonic motions which are perpendicular to each other and uh, factors on which this uh, shape of Lissarge's figure depend are amplitude uh, frequency and the third one is phase difference between two waves 